we are discussing poisson distribution now today we can learn the recurrence relation between the central moments of poisson distribution the statement is if x follows poisson distribution with parameter lambda then mu r plus 1 equal to lambda into r mu r minus 1 plus d by d lambda of mu r that is mu r plus 1 which is the r plus 1 the central moment okay equal to lambda into r mu r minus 1 plus d by d lambda of mu r so when we have mu mu r we can obtain mu r plus 1 using this recurrence relation so for the proof we consider x as p lambda then we will get which uh, which implies f of x equal to e raised to minus lambda lambda raised to x by x factorial x equal to 0 1 2 etc also we have mu 1 dash which is the mean equal to lambda mu 1 dash equal to mean equal to lambda okay now mu r which is the r the central moment mu r so by definition it is expectation of x minus mu 1 dash whole raised to r okay expectation of x minus mu 1 dash whole raised to r so equal to expectation of x minus lambda whole raised to r this is mu r so we can write this as as expectation of x minus lambda whole raised to r the expression as sigma over x equal to 0 to infinity the function x minus lambda whole raised to r into f of x that is e raised to minus lambda lambda raised to x by x factorial now as in the case of raw moments we are considering d by d lambda of mu r okay d by d lambda of mu r so equal to d by d lambda of sigma x equal to 0 to infinity x minus lambda whole raised to r into e raised to minus lambda lambda raised to x by x factorial d by d lambda of mu r equal to sigma d by d lambda of sigma x equal to 0 to infinity x minus lambda whole raised to r into t raised to minus lambda lambda raised to x by x factorial this is a function of three factors okay and we have to differentiate this function with respect to lambda so that this is sigma x equal to 0 to infinity 1 by x factorial into we consider the order in order first function into second into derivative of third plus first into third into derivative of second plus second into third into derivative of first so simply simple differentiation so x minus lambda whole raised to r into e raised to minus lambda into now lambda raised to x derivative x into lambda raised to x minus 1 plus okay then x minus lambda whole raised to r into the third lambda raised to x into Second function derivative e raised to minus lambda into minus 1. Okay. Plus then e raised to minus lambda lambda raised to x into derivative of the first. So r into x minus lambda whole raised to r minus 1 into minus 1. Okay into minus 1 that is this is the derivative so that now 
as in the previous case we consider f of x terms outside and now we have two summation of series okay we we split into two that is sigma x equal to 0 to infinity x minus lambda whole raised to arc there are two terms having x minus lambda whole raised to arc so we combine these two terms so x minus lambda whole raised to r into e raised to minus lambda lambda raised to x by x factorial we consider this f of x terms all outside okay and the remaining terms we consider now uh, in the first term it is x lambda raised to minus 1 that is x by lambda and in the second one it is minus 1 okay x by lambda minus 1 now here minus r minus r into what about minus r into sigma x equal to 0 to infinity x minus lambda whole raised to r minus 1 into f of x. It is e raised to minus lambda. Lambda raised to x by x factorial. Okay. That is this is d by d lambda of mu r. Okay. Now what about sigma x equal to 0 to infinity x minus lambda whole raised to r minus 1 into the c raised to minus lambda lambda raised to x by x factorial. We can write this as r mu r minus 1. Okay. r mu r minus 1. So, this implies d by d lambda of mu r equal to sigma x equal to 0 to infinity x minus lambda whole raised to r into this is f of x isn't it f of x into uh, then we consider the LCM so that this becomes x minus lambda whole by lambda x minus lambda whole by lambda minus r into minus r into we may write once again sigma x equal to 0 to infinity x minus lambda whole raised to r minus 1 into f of x so that this is equal to 1 by lambda may be taken out into sigma x equal to 0 to infinity x minus lambda whole raised to r here and one uh, once again here it is x minus lambda so x minus lambda whole raised to r plus 1 into f of x isn't it minus r mu r minus 1 okay this is mu r minus 1 so that implies r mu r minus 1 here it comes to the left side so that d by d lambda of mu r plus r mu r minus 1 that is we may write r mu r minus 1 plus d by d lambda of mu r equal to 1 by lambda into and this is what about this one mu r plus 1. Now we want the formula for mu r plus 1. Okay. Zambre what about mu r plus 1 equal to lambda into as a whole r mu r minus 1 plus d by d lambda of mu r. We have the formula for mu r plus 1 which is equal to lambda into r mu r minus 1 plus d by d lambda of mu r which is the recurrent relation for the central moments of Poisson distribution. Okay. Now, by putting, we have the result mu naught equal to 1 and mu 1 equal to 0 for any distribution. Okay. We have mu naught equal to 1 and mu 1 and mu 1 equal to 0 for any distribution. These two constants. 
are to be remembered may not equal to 1, may 1 equal to 0 for any distribution. Now, when R equal to 1, we get mu 2. Okay, R equal to 1 implies mu 2 equal to R equal to 1 implies R minus 1 equal to what about R minus 1 is 0. So, mu 2 equal to lambda into R equal to 1. So, mu, uh, R into mu 1 into mu naught plus D by D lambda of mu 1. Okay, and mu naught equal to 1, mu 1 equal to 0. That is lambda into 1 into 1 and 1. 1 into mu naught plus d by d lambda of 0. So that equal to lambda into 1. That is equal to lambda. Okay. That is mu 2 equal to lambda. Mu 2 equal to lambda. Now we find the mu by putting r equal to. What about r equal to 2? So that the relation is written here La, mu r plus 1 equal to mu r plus 1 equal to lambda into r mu r minus 1 plus d by d lambda of mu 1. Okay, so that r equal to 2 in plus mu 3 equal to lambda into 2 into, so R minus 1 mu 1 plus D by D lambda of mu 2. Mu 2 D by D lambda of mu 2. Okay, so that is equal to lambda into 2 into 0, isn't it? Mu 1 is 0 plus D by D lambda of mu 2 is lambda. That is lambda into 0 plus 1 equal to lambda. That is again mu 3 is equal to lambda. Okay. Mu 3 equal to lambda. Now we find mu 4 by putting r equal to 3. So that r equal to 3 implies. Okay. Mu 4 equal to from this relation. So that lambda into 3 into mu 2, isn't it? R equal to 3. So, R minus 1, 2. Mu 2 plus D by D lambda of mu 3. Okay. That is equal to lambda into 3 lambda plus D by D lambda of lambda. That is equal to lambda into 3 lambda plus 1. Equal to lambda 3 lambda square plus lambda which is mu 4. Okay, mu 4 equal to 3 lambda square plus lambda. That is finally we conclude but this is the recurrence relation for the central moments which is mu r plus 1 equal to lambda into r mu r minus 1 plus d by d lambda of mu r and we have the constants mu not equal to 1, mu 1 equal to 0, mu 2 equal to lambda, mu 3 equal to lambda. And finally, mu 4 equal to 3 lambda square plus lambda. Okay, the four central moments of Poisson distribution from which we can obtain the measure of skewness and kurtosis. Already we have these results. Measure of skewness beta 1 equal to mu 3 square by mu 2 cube. On simplification, we get it as 1 by lambda. So, greater than 0, that is the distribution is positively skewed. Okay. And beta 2 equal to the measure of kurtosis equal to mu 4 by mu 2 square. So, 3 lambda square plus lambda whole by lambda square. The result is 3 plus 1 by lambda. So, greater than 3. That is the distribution is, what about the distribution? The distribution is leptocurtic skewness and kurtosis. Already we have this result.
beta 1 equal to 4 pi sin distribution beta 1 equal to mu 3 square by mu 2 cube so equal to after uh, on substitution this is lambda square by lambda cube equal to 1 by lambda greater than 0 that is Poisson distribution is positively skewed and beta 2 as the measure of ketosis equal to mu 4 by mu 2 square equal to 3 lambda square plus lambda by lambda square equal to 3 plus 1 by lambda greater than 3 that is Poisson distribution is leptocritic already we have proved these results okay leptocritic okay this is uh, these uh, constants are these constants are very important for the distribution for any distribution okay thank you